I don't know, and you never did answer me, and maybe you don't know, but you don't need it. That's why I like uh, Very Games, because I can use FTP program, and I can download what I want no. and upload what I want. Wait, what, what was the question? Can you use FTP with the throttle? The answer is no. Not with farm sim. I don't know about Minecraft, but I know definitely not with farm sim. I wonder why. Because you're not supposed to be allowed FTP access with farm sim. It's a Jan's thing. Jan's thing is what it is. Yep. Well, then why? Well, then why can Very Games do it? The only thing that I, they told me I know you don't is know. that under contract, you don't have to buy a license. You just go rent the server. And basically, what the support told me when they emailed me back is that. What's up, Scotty? How's it going, buddy? All they have to do is they have to have. Scotty, the thanks for the host. Of Much appreciated, brother. Um, I don't know, but Nitrado specifically told, I think it was Samo and Kajiva, yep. that they, you are not allowed to have FTP access with Farmson. Well, oh shit. Yeah. Basically, I asked Nitrado why we didn't have FTP access, and their support said to me because the contract they signed with Giants states that there's to be no FTP access. I contacted Giants and asked, asked uh, if Very Games were allowed to give access, and they wouldn't comment on it. So I don't know. I mean, I'm confused. I'll, I'll back in two minutes. I just got need, need, need to go look my kind. No problem. <laughs> what access to FS? What's that? FTP access is where you can just basically put all your mods in one folder and just upload them all in one go. It's very games recommends that you use FTP program rather than what what they offer. I mean, you, you've got access via the farm sim server yeah but that's limited i tried to upload stuff using that method and it wouldn't work yeah something like that chris they suggested okay use the ftp web page and i said i already tried that and they said all right then use this program this is what we suggest you load it on your PC, it's an FTP program, and bingo, bango, man. I have never had an issue uploading and downloading stuff since. None. Well, I don't have any issues uploading and downloading them individually. But again, like, as I said, the... I always have a mod pack sorted out before I switch mobs. I always have an idea of what mobs, what mods I want on a particular map. So... I just, I take the time, spend, it It, t it took me about a quarter of an hour to upload Pleasant Valley on all the mods that I wanted. I had them all sitting in a folder on my own computer, uploaded the map, then selected pretty much everything else. No, I did select everything else, sorry. I selected everything else in the folder other than the map and uploaded them secondly. I can upload two and a half gig in one go to Nathrado. I don't think, I think um, Barry Games is 750 megabytes is the maximum you can do in one go no well that's it Nitrado and Barry Games cut of different contracts that's true they must have yeah it because used to, it, I, I, well I, 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 I know have, I know in 15 I can upload everything I know in 15 bads you can only do 750 megabytes at a time in one upload to Barry Games that's all you could do yeah, on the throttle, it was two and a half gigs. Hmm. That's weird. But like you said, they must have different contracts or something. They must have. I, I, with very games, I, I can upload when I want. 
it, 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 I, I can wipe out everything on there and upload everything again. Yeah, well, you can do the same on the throttle. Not hard I mean, I to do. Can, right, so that's rename, that's the three seaters case. I can rename the folders and I can leave version one up there and I can turn around and upload another whole set of mods and put them in a different folder. And switch back and forth at will between them. Of course, I gotta you know, stop the server to do that. Yes, yeah. that's a given. In regards to mods, anyway, Johnny, um, do do you get them all from giants, or do you get them from different places? I get most of mine off. Um, well, a lot of them comes off friends I have in the community that probably got a mod somewhere else, tweaked it to make it better. And that's normally the mods I put up. You'll very, very rarely get a bad mod off me because a lot of people, a lot smarter than I am, have fixed things that were wrong with it and stuff like that there. So you don't need Big Bud to pull the implements. That's basically what I'm trying to show, Gotti. Now, this is 939. This is the biggest vent you can buy in the vanilla game. And it struggled with that cedar. It really did. Um... It really Probably did. The 1050. I haven't got the 1050 in this. Oh, and it's, okay. it's just it's just vanilla stuff I have. Right, so I don't think there was any sprayers in the pack. No, there's not. Fertilizer spreaders? No. Manure spreaders? Yes, this thing. Wait till you see the absolute humongous size of this thing. No wonder it says you need 500 horsepower to pull up. It is gigantic. Hang on, I'll walk a bit away from it before I actually show it to you. So. Look at the length of this. <laughs> it's There's quadruple axle. I have never seen a muck spreader in my life with quadruple axles. I'm going to need one of the big buds on this because that one's going to pull up. I'm going to take this back to the main farm. I don't know. At the moment, I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep my daddy server. Shit, that was good driving, Johnny. Well done. I'm debating. And you know, sir, you are more than welcome to join us on my server and get rid of your server. Always up and running bads. You want to use it, you want to stream with it, you want to do anything with it, you go ahead, sir. I don't. I'm just trying to figure it out. It, there was a bunch of people that said that I asked them before I ran the server and they said yeah they, they'd come in you know and a couple of them did for about an hour or two and never came back so I'm wondering you know what's the what's the point the only point I can think of is that some things don't work the same way on a server as they do in single player it works a lot different so i want to make sure stuff works on a server before i hand it out to somebody and say hey here you go yeah but you want i have to have a test server to do that you want access to my server you can do that or when i'm in bed at night i'll give you full access no problem there but you'd have to do it while I'm in bed. Another save game and test out whatever mods you want. I'll think about it, Johnny. That muck spread is huge. That muck spreader is gigantic. Now, I will say this, guys, if you're going to pull this behind normal equipment, get a weight. Because I was sliding about all over the place there trying to come over the road. Parked up. That thing's still working. Five mile an hour? Really? Not it. But it, it? It's getting there, folks. It's doing a huge area, so you're not really that messed up by the slow speeds. Here's one of the big buds here. I have no muck to put in it. That's my only problem, folks. And I actually looked through three or four save games there, and I have no manure on any of them. You can uh, get a place to go, uh 
They put Mignot. Point. No, buy point for um, Mignot. Like yeah. Oh, well. Who's recording? Is it in, in the mod hub or is it. Oh, I think it's in the mod hub. I think so. If it's not in the mod hub, I'm not going searching for it. So somebody could check and see is there a buyable manure point in the mod hub. I know there's a replaceable buyable liquid manure point. Wait Uh I don't know the answer to that question. What do you use manure for? Just use it for fertilizing. Rather than fertilizer, you can just use manure. Edit the XML. Scotty, it's it's not that easy. Cowboy coming in with another 10 bits. Isn't it 10? Yep. Thank you so much, Cowboy, for the bits. Much appreciated, brother. Um, Johnny, I think I got it. The zip. Is, is it in the mod hub? I don't know. It's in my mods folder. That's not me. And what way do you buy it? Yeah. With a front shovel or do you just pull up next to it? No, it's, yeah, you put it next to it. I'll see if I can find it in the water. Yeah. I use, I don't know, I use BDB. Placeable. For plant. And just dump digestate into it. Then I get fruit out. What's going on with Big Bud? Eh, it's going. It's slow, but it's getting there. The new front linkage on it, which I was kind of disappointed about. Well, you know what's going to happen, though, Johnny. Yeah, somebody's going to mod it. Yeah, somebody's going to pull this stuff out, and it'll it'll be modded. It'll be faster. <laughs> right. Would you like me to get? A placeable manure point. Just so we see this thing in action. Um, I can I'll download it. I do like the looks of the big bud. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah. Uh, I think the triple wheel one version though is ridiculous looking. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's going to load up this page, Scotty. What is, is it? Why is that blogger not? I am seriously beginning to regret buying a gear shift for this bloody thing. Hi. Hey, Todd, how's it going, buddy? The reverse doesn't work on it. Check down. That triple wheel, Big Bud, wouldn't be too bad if it didn't have collision on those outside two tires on each side. I think. Probably can't save it too. This case, just put this in the ice cream. I can. Are you back yet, Summer? Don't ask me what Sarah's watching if you can hear that. What's up, Easy? How's it going, <laughs> buddy? What the hell she's watching? <laughs> 